Knoxville woman says that a used car dealer unexpectedly sold her vehicle instead of fixing it. She called WATE 6 on your side consumer reporter Don Dare after getting a notice from the state. Well, that's right, Don. The notice from the Department of Re Revenue showed that the car was still registered to her name. That letter arrived from the state a few weeks ago, but she says it was last November when she was told the car was sold after trying to get it repaired by the used car dealer. I am borrowing a car. Lindsay Thompson and her fiance Larry Cole have been driving this Nissan for months now. Lindsay's ex is letting her borrow it. Ms. Thompson bought a 2005 Ford Taurus like this one last June, but she doesn't have it anymore. We'll explain in a moment. Larry and Lindsay purchased the Taurus from Cherokee Auto Sales on Broadway in North Knoxville. I put $700 down on it and we signed a contract for the extra um, services on the car. Here is the bill of sale signed June 21st of last year. The car cost $6,000. Lindsay put $700 down. The vehicle was sold as is, without a warranty, which means Ms. Thompson would be responsible for repairs. But Lindsay agreed to a $995 service contract for peace of mind if anything went wrong. I figured that the service contract would help with the maintenance on the car and everything. The terms of the contract, 12 months or 12,000 miles, whichever comes first. The covered components include such things as the engine, drive axle, and transmission, among other things. On November 17th, Larry Cole was driving the car when it gave him trouble. We was coming home and the transmission went out. So they immediately got in touch with Cherokee Auto Sales about the faulty transmission. We called the company and told them that the transmission went out. They said, OK, they would send a tow truck. They sent a tow truck out and brought it back here. Lindsay and Larry said they waited 10 days and returned to the car lot. On November the 27th, when we came back to get the car, the car was already gone and sold. The car was gone? The car was gone. Sold? Sold. Yeah. The dealer returned the license tag to her, which has her name on the other side. At the lot on November 27th, Lindsay says she asked why the car was sold. To me, while I was on the warranty. But the car is in your name? Yes, the car is in my name. But why didn't they give it back to you? I have no idea. They just kept saying something about the mileage on the car. Remember the terms of that service agreement, 12 months or 12,000 miles? In the five months, she had the car. Lindsay said she put more than 12,000 miles on it and never missed a payment. A few weeks ago, however, Lindsay and Larry received a letter from the State Department of Revenue. It says records show there is no liability insurance on a 2005 Taurus. And you are required to have? Insurance in the state of Tennessee. And this is now under your name? Yes, sir. On May the 17th of 2024 this year, Cherokee Auto Sales did not call the state to inform them that they had the car back in their, their possession. We went to Cherokee Auto Sales hoping to get some answers for Lindsay and Larry. We spoke with the salesman. He was behind a desk with a customer and didn't give us his name. She left her car here on the 17th of November to have the transmission Don, fixed. I know who you are, mm -hmm. okay? And I'm asking you to politely stay outside because I'm with someone. When asked to leave, we did. But the Cherokee Auto Salesman never came out to speak with us. Instead, he called the Knoxville Police Department. Apparently, we were a nuisance. As we were waiting on the public street, Officer Josh Cedar had spoken with the salesman. I don't think that you guys are doing anything wrong. He's definitely caught a little bit back by the news crew, I think. Okay. Um, I would just, I mean, it sounds like you have all the resources necessary to make a pretty good civil case out of it, right? We sent a text message to Cherokee Auto Sales. There has been no response. I just want my money back or a car. Now, Lindsay says she is working with a an attorney from Legal Aid to see what can be done to get any of her money back. She is also contacting the State Department of Commerce and Insurance outlining what happened. Bank records in the bill of sale from Cherokee Auto indicate that Ms. Thompson had nearly $2,700 invested in the car, a vehicle she drove for only five months. Again, we tried to reach out to Cherokee Auto Sales to hear their side of the story, but they have not gotten back with us. Don? All right, Don, thank you. Now, if you have a consumer question for Don, send him an email, ddare at wate.com.